While climbing, it's important to maintain three points of contact at all times. That is, two hands and one foot, or two feet and one hand. This is your first line of defense against falls. Your back against the wall does not count as a point of contact. When passing through platform openings, use care not to hit your head on the tower flange or bang your knees into the ladder rungs when the passage narrows. If your cable grab should accidentally lock, do not free it with your hand. Simply climb up slightly above the point where the cable grab stuck, and it will pull up and out of the locked position. It may be tempting to manually override the cable grab to prevent locking by keeping a hand on the cable grab. This practice is very dangerous and is strictly prohibited. Climb at a slow and steady pace, taking breaks as needed. Climb one rung at a time and avoid overreaching. When you need to take a break, you can step off onto a platform or simply lean your back against the wall. Remember to maintain three points of contact with the ladder, even when resting. If two free hands are needed to perform work while on the ladder, a work positioning lanyard must be used. Make sure to maintain three points of contact on the ladder while attaching the work positioning lanyard. Anytime you open a gate or hatch, always announce your intention to make others aware of the hazard. Always remember to close all hatches immediately after passing through. Before you open the platform gate to get on or off the ladder, announce your intention. Make sure that the fall hazard is eliminated by closing the gate before detaching your cable grab. If your cable grab or slider can't be disconnected from the safe side of the gate, you can attach a fall arrest lanyard first. If no certified anchor is available and the ladder must be used, always tie off to the ladder rail, not the rung, and tie off to a reinforced rung whenever possible. 